Welcome to the Burda Research Group. I'm here with my graduate students Tani and Ji Hong, talking about femtosecond laser spectroscopy and how it contributes to uncover the photochemical and photophysical processes in nanomaterials that are otherwise difficult to study. Spectroscopy is an incredibly versatile tool and we've been using femtosecond lasers for over a decade now to discover fundamental processes in nanomaterials and their conjugates. The relaxation dynamics of photoexcited electrons must be studied, understood and manipulated with very high precision. A solar cell, for example, would never work if electrons were not directed towards the anode within a few hundred femtoseconds. This makes investigating electron transfer dynamics in functional nanomaterials critical for developing better applications. Chi Hong, your recent work shows that electron and hole transfer dynamics occurs on a very fast time scale. Yes, I use femtosecond pump probe spectroscopy to study exciton dynamics in semiconductor nanomaterials. Using a laser pump pulse to excite nanomaterials and a delay probe pulse to monitor ground state recovery, we are able to understand how fast the charge carriers relax and charge transfer occurs across the nanoparticle interface. We have been particularly interested in type II semiconductor quantum dot. This kind of material has a long-lived charge transfer state. It is potentially useful for photovoltaics. I synthesize a series of core shell quantum dots with increasing shell thickness. With increasing shell thickness, we observe the transition from type 1 to quasi-type 2 regimes. With laser spectroscopy, I can study charge transfer across the nanoparticle interface relaxation to defect state, and radiative recombination as a function of shell thickness. On the other hand, if energy transfer is supposed to occur efficiently at nanoparticle interfaces, the conjugation between the particle and the attached molecule has to be carefully controlled. Tenny, you studied the loading of nanoparticles with fluorescent drug molecules um, how does laser spectroscopy contribute to understand your drug delivery system better? Well, we've been working to understand how to improve the delivery of hydrophobic photodynamic therapy drugs in vivo using nanoparticles. And really, laser spectroscopy provides critical insights into how molecules interact with nanoparticles in solution. Uh, in our system, we have a gold nanoparticle, and it's coated with an amphiphilic ligand called polyethylene glycol. When you add drugs to the solution, the nanoparticle will actually stabilize it and keep the drug protected, uh, especially in polar media such as water where the drug usually aggregates. Using pump probe spectroscopy, we found that increasing solvent polarity uh, influenced the distance between the nanoparticle and the drug, and thus fret efficiency. And actually we find that the lifetime of the drug molecule, um, when you put the gold nanoparticle a uh, drug molecule and solution in, in, say, water becomes comparable to the surface plasmon relaxation. I think these are great examples of how important laser spectroscopy has become in our group, and it is exciting to be a part of this growing research field. I am grateful to the journal JPC Laters for inviting our perspective on this matter. Absolutely. And I would also like to thank my wonderful students and team members who have worked on our lasers and on our nanomaterials over the years. A special thanks also to my collaborators and funding agencies as well. Mm -hmm.